Welcome back to the beginner Node.js course. I'm your instructor Mohammed, and in this final section, we will be creating a RESTful API and our to-do list application. So we're going to use RESTful routing, of course, using resources with MongoDB and using Express.js. We're going to create, read, update, and delete information using the Fetch API, which we'll talk about later. We're going to deploy our application with Heroku. So users will actually be able to see it in the browser. So the first thing we want to do is set up our app.js file and create our, our project structure. And then we'll talk about RESTful routes. So let's jump into our terminal. The first thing we want to do is create the directory. Go into the directory. Touch index.html. And then we're going to npm in it. After touching the app.js file, we're going to npm in it dash y. And this y flag will agree to everything that npm asks us. So now we're going to install some dependencies, including express. So let's jump to our browser and see what the app that we're creating. Of course, it's a simple to do list application that we're going to create. So buy groceries. I've already created the app, so I just have to run node app. So it's a simple to-do list application that we're going to create. So if, if I refresh, buy groceries should be here, and we can update. Buy bread, let's say. And we have to ref refresh. And of course we can delete. And I've also went ahead and styled it on the version that I deployed. So it's a little bit different. Functionality wise, it's roughly the same. Looks like my computer is being a little bit slow, but functionality wise, it's pretty much similar. And I also have this repository that's going to be included within the course resources. And it roughly goes over how to create this application. Of course, there's going to be a few differences. So let's see if this is finished running. You can ignore that. So it looks like Express has installed. So we're going to need to install Body Parser and MongoDB. So of course, this is pretty much similar to what we've already have. We've required Express, we've required Body Parser, MongoDB, Mongo Client. This URL is gonna be pretty new. We've of course talked about MongoDB a little bit in the last section. Once this is done installing it, we'll actually set it up. Okay, looks like it installed properly. Let's sub, sub dot, which means open with Sublime. And of course, I've installed Sublime Text 3. I believe we were using Sublime Text 2 for most of this course, but it really doesn't matter. You can stick with Sublime Text 2 or 3. So uh, we have we required most of the things we need, and this Mongo client will help us connect to MongoDB later. So this Mongo URL is our local URL. Of course, we've talked about that a little bit before. If we run Mongo, we should see the URL. And I'm just going to exit out of this. And you can just copy and paste that URL. And forward slash with the database we are going to use. So let's call this to do app. Let's call this amazing to do app. So we basically set up most of our project right here, at least project structure wise. We can also create our public files, our style and our script, our front end scripts. But let's talk a little bit about RESTful routes. So we're not going to talk too advanced on what RESTful APIs are and state versus stateless or anything. What you really want to think about when you're talking about RESTful routes is that we're going to have URLs that relate to resources. So for example, a URL which you access to get all the resources, all of the data about a specific resource might look something like yoursite.com slash index. And that might help us get all the resources. So let's say we had a to-do list uh, full of tasks. So if we went to yoursite.com slash task slash index, 
we might expect to see all the resources, all the data related to the tasks. So, and we can jump to the browser just to see how that would work. So we see this empty bracket and that's because we don't have any tasks yet. But let's create one. So buy groceries. And if we jump to tasks, we should see buy groceries. And that's because this URL, localhost 8000 slash tasks, is the resource to get all the tasks. We, can, we could have also done task slash index. Another common route is that for a create route, so we might have a task slash new, and this would be used to post data once when we do our app.post. Another one we'll be using is task slash update, and then we're going to update the ID. So if the ID is 123, then we're going to update the task that has the ID of 123. And finally, we have delete. Let's say we wanted to delete the task 123, we would do enter this URL. So you can begin to see how with RESTful routing, resources are all tied into these routes. URLs are tied into these resources. So of course I have that sample repository. We haven't actually finished our API.